Hi there. Well, this is our third week of talking about angels and uh, their ministry. And I hope that you've been enjoying the uh, different insights and clips with uh, Georgian. But today I want to introduce you to Julie Meyer. And she's going to talk about how angels are affected through our worship. And again, we want to stress that, that, that Jesus alone is to be worshipped. Jesus alone is the focus of our life, of our worship, of our service. And so we don't want to get out of balance in our study of angels or anything like that because Jesus has to be central. And yet I want to say this is that oftentimes people are afraid to talk about angels because they think, well, if I, if I talk about angels, then, then maybe I'm getting my focus off of, of Jesus. Listen, if God didn't want us to study angels. He wouldn't have put so many references in the scripture. He wants us to understand the operation of angels. Why? Because they're part of the invisible kingdom realm that we live in. As soon as you are born again, you become a member of the kingdom of God. And you are in the kingdom of God right now. And in the unseen kingdom dimensions, of this realm that you live in are angels or other heavenly beings. Of course, the Godhead also is an invisible God, the eternal invisible God, but he's in that realm. And so there's all kinds of things that he has for us. Do you know that in Colossians 3, verse 1, it said, set your mind on the things above. Well, angels are a created thing. It's created life. And so we can set our mind on the things. We don't worship, we don't get out of balance, but God wants you to know that we are in a season of angelic visitation. And when you worship, you are worshiping with a heavenly host. You might not always be aware of the angels that are there, but lately we've been hearing the angels. I was in, in Hawaii not long ago and um, as we were worshiping in one of the sessions, I heard the angel singing with us. It's just like on that different realm, but my, my physical hearing was open to hearing the angel sing in worship. Do you understand that every time we worship Jesus and focus on him, we are fueling the worship in the heavens and becoming one with that eternal exaltation of Jesus Christ? What an awesome thing to think about. So every time you worship, Understand that in your worship of Jesus, that there's angels that are worshiping all before the throne. It says in the Bible, they say, holy, holy, holy. And they lift up. I think they see another revelation of Jesus. They say, whoa, holy, holy, holy. They can't help but worship him because he is so amazing. But your worship, I believe, stirs angelic activity because they connect with the exaltation of Jesus. Here's our good friend, Julie Meyer. Because of our worship, do angels want to join in? I mean, I don't know what I would think. You know, when you, um, I, this has happened to me when I've, when I've been at, I, I have actually been at a meeting and uh, something else, uh, I, I, was at, I was at a, a church service and they had, in, they had different meetings in different rooms, and I was setting, I was just sitting in one of our, it, I think it was like a workshop, I was sitting, and the worship from another room caught my ear, and I couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't, and I finally, I left where I was, and I went, and I joined this, they were just worshiping Jesus, they were just worshiping, so my thoughts are possibly, possibly yes. You know, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if, if our worship, you know, I don't, I don't know, I would have to like really study that. I, I can't like pull a scripture out and say, yes, that's true. But I would wonder because just, I can go back to that moment when I heard that. When I heard that, I remember one day uh, I was practicing with uh, a worship team and we were practicing for a worship and I think this is so cool. Uh, and we, we had our harmonies and, and down, and, and we, just, we just started singing, not to practice, but we just started singing because we, were sing because we loved Jesus. And all of these birds, I mean like a hundred birds came and landed in this tree right outside our window, and their chirping was so loud that we stopped. 
And I do, I believe when we worship in total abandonment, not just so we get something, we don't worship so I can get, so I can see this. We worship just because he's so worthy. I mean, he's so worthy and then everything else flows and I would wonder if just like when, when I would get my attention, just like those birds came, I believe they heard the sound of worship because creation itself, grown, the creation knows its maker, though man does not. And I would wonder and ponder if the same thing happens in the heavenlies, you know, when the great worship service is happening in eternity and when God sends out his messengers and they hear that great sound of, of people absolutely abandoned and in totally love with Jesus, that you just wonder if it draws the presence of the angels. To me, it's not a yes, but it is that's what I wonder.